switching sides. I really tried to stand bad, ain't no one inside. Now I'm getting money, they all wanna come alive. Made it on my own, I swear, girls, my time is shining. His name's Young M.M. Fly. My interview is going to be about him, on who he is, and to inspire you on becoming whoever you're meant to be. Um, he has such talent um, that I want to share it, honestly. So if you go on hashtag self dreamers, I created a playlist. I'm gonna put it on loop, and you can do the same thing. We are live on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. So yeah. All right. So let's uh, bring him on. I was going through the pain and I made that mistakes. Shady told me that she loved me, but she said it wait. I was down by myself and for a better day. All I need is loving now, cause they see that I'm puffy. I mix your flows and melodies, they know I'm up to something. I've been fucked up any time, my heart is really bleeding. I took a lot of money to make me feel like I'm happy. How you love me and still hurt me at the same time. Tell the lies to me, you hit me with the same lies. I trust the kids to take away the So, young and and fly. It's not pulling your name up, so send a request. No wonder why they hit the movie, they cannot put it. I'm going to make you reach, which is as I go. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you doing? Good, good. So this is the um, first time we're actually going to be able to speak. I'm always busy, huh? Um, yeah. So this is going to be exciting. I'm very interested in, in knowing more about you. Your music is beautiful. Uh, I'm glad, you know, I met you through the app. Um, just on, on Facebook, too. So let me just set up. Uh, for them to view you as well. Ooh, yeah, right here. Nah, bro, that look red. No, that is so I definitely did. All right, so I'm gonna take the music off so that way we can hear you. Um, the name Young MM Fly, like, where does that come from? What does that name come from? Oh, so um, basically, um. The name Young Emmy I thought would actually, you know, it's a, more than uh, It came from my childhood, actually, you know, because um, people, when I was young, they all, always, like, uh, underestimated me, you know. So, like, being young was one of the things I actually uh, was used to because I was the youngest in my class. I was the youngest in my league. I was the youngest everywhere, you know. So there was a time when they started calling me young Emmy, you know, because basically then sure. in school, I wanted to give myself Emmy Gold. That was my first rap name. You know, I wanted to uh, name myself Emmy Gold. Then I uh, just changed it to young Emmy because why not, you know? Why not? Sure, sure. At what age did you realize you had a talent? So, so basically, like, I won't lie, like, if I'm being honest, right, I always wanted to play football. <laughs> No, no yeah. music. True. Because like, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't good at football. I wasn't good at football. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't good at football. Like, I was actually putting myself in the field. Like, I was pushing myself. Like, I was training hard. Like, I was missing uh, gatherings just to go play football. You know. 
And suddenly, wow. it was this time when I was in school, I just discovered, oh, I can actually rap. I can actually rap. So as I was pushing football and it wasn't looking good for me because I had to like go to school, I had to do a lot of stuff. So I just said, nah, music is the thing, you know, so I just focused on the music. True, true. So and how old like are you? Music. Huh? How old are you today? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm 18. Okay. I'm 18. Okay. True, true, true. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. True. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, at, as a child and growing up, and from the time that you are now, what ways have you evolved yourself? What ways have you have you seen that you've become better? Oh yes, I actually have. Like that is one thing I use as motivation. You know, because if I check where I started from, like last year, I was, you know, last two years I was actually making music off my phone. You understand? Mm. So I was actually making music off my phone, and then. Uh, one of my music went viral, you know, so like I've actually evolved, like I came a long way, so like, wow. mm, yeah. So, so you were making music off your phone and that was just because that's just the resources you have? Yeah, at actually, that age? yeah, exactly. Like I was just a 14 years old who just finished high school. You know, sure. from where I'm from, like, when you're 14 and you finish high school, like, that is actually hard because people finish here, like, 19, 18, you know? So people were expecting oh. me to go to school. But I just knew, like, school wasn't for me, you feel me? School wasn't for me. Okay. You know, it's just, like, sure. I was just being truthful to myself. Like, I wasn't good with school, so I was like, nah, I'm going to just do uh, music, you know? So I just focus on the music at the age of 14. So when you're 14 years old, you have no income, you know. I would, I just had to like work sure. with stuff I could get. So my phone was one thing I could, I could use in recording myself and getting better. So that's what I did. So explain to everybody, because not everybody knows, where are you from, and how does that affect the craft of your work? As you're saying, like the age you were, you know, you're 14. But not only that, but like. Where are you from and explain like electricity and things like that, how it works in your world, because not everybody is from your world. So yeah. I want you to explain like the extra effort, not only age wise, but like tell them like where you're from and the struggles of creating what you're doing. Uh, so basically, uh, first of all, I'm from uh, Africa, West African, West African part. Nigeria, that is, uh, that West African, West Africa, that is Nigeria, actually. And I'm originally from Edo States, you know, there's a state in, mm. uh, in Nigeria called Edo State, that is where I'm actually from, like, that's my ethnicity, you know, but I was born and brought up in Lagos, you know, so um, I, I was born in Lagos, and growing up in Lagos has taught me a lot, you know, it taught me, like, being who be, be who you want to be because my dad you know he always helped me my dad always helped me you know he yeah. he pushed me like without my dad without the motivation of my dad without the motivation of my dad right i won't be in this position right now i won't be in this position because my dad actually played a big role in my life in my career like coming right. up he played a big role so being and normally <clears throat> where i'm from Parents don't support their children to follow their craft. Do you understand? Sure. Parents uh -huh. don't support their children to follow their craft. But my dad is different. Like, he, he makes me, he tells me, what do you want to do, Emmy? You know, what, what do you want to do? And I'd be like, dad, I want to play football. And he, he helped me. He was playing for academy and everything. And at a point, I was like, I, I want to do music. <laughs> You're not playing football no more. I was like, mm -hmm, I want to do music. So he started, like, supporting me, like, taking me to places, cool. like, just helping me get that thing, you know? So all this place, like, and where I'm from, you know, poverty is a normal thing. Poverty is a normal thing, you know? 
poverty, I can take my phone outside now and show you the road. You see people who are poor and people go through a lot. And me being young and able to experience this type of stuff, you know, it's actually inspired my music. Like, if you listen to my music, like, I've had a lot of people tell me this. They'd be like, Hammy, do you need help? Because how do you constantly think about this pain and everything, you know? But I just let them know. I just be like, my music is me. You know, my music is me. So nice. that's how I actually, you know, like, my music is basically where I'm from. The pain, the struggle, you know, that's, that's just, just my music. That's how I do. Sure. That's amazing to hear, honestly. I hope it inspires, you know, other people. <clears throat> and it inspires me, too. That's why we're talking today. Um, so I want to know, who are your biggest artistic influences? Uh, so, uh, first of all, I, I, I would say uh, X is Extentation. That's you know amazing that? to hear, honestly. I hope it do you know? Do you know X is Extentation? No. Oh, so he, he was uh, a big influence in my career, actually. You know, he played a big influence, like XXX Tentation inspired me to rap. And I also look up to David Doe. I look up to Whiskey. I look up to uh, Bono Boy. And I have, I have a wide range of artists I look up to. Do you know why? Because I just like studying each music style. Like, sure. I'm trying to do everything to make my own the most unique, you know. If you listen to my music today, I'm on Afropop. Tomorrow, I'm on Drew. Next, tomorrow, I'm on uh, Trap. And that's why I'm able to keep that page, because I have a lot of people who inspired my music and helped me go far right now. Do you find in life, do you find just music inspiring, or do you find what other things inspire you? Oh, I, I find um, not just music, you know. I, I still love football very well. And also okay. art. You know, I love art images. Like, I just, I just love art. Like, me looking at, like, a piece of art right now just gives me that calmness, you know, that calmness. Sure. You know? Do, you, do you, like, when you say art, do you, like, draw and stuff like that? What'd you say? Do you draw? That that's that's Can you hear me? You froze for a second. <laughs> yeah. Now now I can. Up. Oh. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I said the the saddest part about being me is I cannot draw. Like I swear, yeah. like if I took a, a pen right now <laughs> and try, <laughs> I can only do the stick man stuff. I I cannot draw. Oh okay, sure, sure. That's funny. Um, can you describe to the youth and to anybody who's old out there who who has art talents, but it you know they just have not been inspired. How important is it in our society? How I, I don't understand. How important is it to be inspired by providing your talents, like those people who are artistically uh, talented? You know, like some people don't want to share that because of some type of fear, but they, if they yeah. open up, and they just be themselves, how important is it, you know, for for us to be creative? Uh, yeah, so uh, we all know this one, like, everyone, everyone, everyone has a talent, you know, like, me, for instance, like, there was this stage at my life where I was scared, I was scared to show, like, my talent, because um, in school, actually, you know, uh, mm -hmm. in school, uh, I was being mocked, you know, I had uh, this low self-esteem stuff, so I couldn't actually um, express my, 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 my talent in school till I got out of school. And mm -hmm. when I started writing uh, these rhymes, you know, and me okay. seeing people like after shows, people come to meet me and be like, yo, I'm very grateful, your music touched my life. You know, that feeling, 
it makes you it, it it makes it makes you be like yeah you know like it makes you feel good about yourself and that is why like right. that is why you need to start using your talent because god is trying to use you to connect to someone you know like my music my music sure. actually you know people always dm me and be like your music changed my life your music is a breathing room for me and it it gives me that joy because not only am i trying to tell my story but i'm trying to connect with other people's story you know i'm trying to make them let them know like you're not alone on this journey you know i've got you you've got me right you understand so True. that's that's, <clears throat> that's yeah. just a story i do i do i love you I, i do hear in your music yeah. Yeah, thank you. But the, the best advice is just if you have a talent just uh just do your stuff, you know, because someone out there would need your your talent. Me, I can write rhymes, you know, I can write rhymes and put melody. And people like mm -hmm. it, you know. And I don't want to start mentioning names because I don't want to be giving free promotion and stuff, you know, but you should check out My fluidity, you know. Uh, like just looking at her like her artwork you know you can feel this inner peace and when i feel depressed or i just feel uh lonely i just go and look at art sure i go to, i i go and look at art because when i see art like the colors everything just makes you calm you know mm -hmm. it, it yeah. gives you this peace this inner peace you know so imagine if that person hadn't started using her talent how would i find my peace if i haven't started making music and mixing rhymes and melodies and everything how would they find their peace you understand right. so if you have yes. if you have something if you have that talent please get out there and do it please please sure please definitely <clears throat> i love that um what what continues you to motivate to do this plus living a basic life where you know we have to provide a house we have to provide food we have to go that my family. route so what will motivate you to continue your family my family my family sure. always always my family like just you know, i want you to imagine this imagine like I was around 13 or 14 mm -hmm. when I I I I sat down the day and I was like because you know I'm from Nigeria right so um mm -hmm. uh we don't use dollars here so but I I sat down at the balcony that day I said my dad hasn't seen 1 million dollars before his dad hasn't seen 1 million dollars before sure. his dad before that dad hasn't seen 1 million dollars before you know and mm -hmm. I want to be the one to break that curse, you know? Like sure. I want to be able to cash up my dad a million dollars. Like sure. I I I see my family go grow from poverty because believe me like I I'm, I'm not I'm not that old but I can still remember things graphically. I can remember things graphically. I can I can strictly remember there was times when I looked at my dad's face and I could see him struggling. Like mm -hmm. my dad right now he, he's very stable, believe me. He's he's stable like i i i don't want to say this but my dad is richer than me now <laughs> but right before that before that like before the money and everything you know i i i could remember there was time where he was staying in just a room like a, a room like just a room just imagine mm. having a, two children a wife father and two children sleeping in one room just one room one room you have your clothes here you cook here you feed here you sleep here you dine like mm. in just one room and this mm. room is not big like it's just like a box right oh my god it's just like a box so me looking at that and seeing where my dad is right now like my dad has houses you know sure. so i i i i he has break he broke the curse from his family you know because he's the sure. first to own big houses he's the first to own investments he's, he's the he's the pride of the family me looking at my dad in that figure makes me want to be like him too makes me want to break the record you know be the first to own houses abroad and stuff so like 
my family is my motivation to keep going. True. That's, I mean, that's definitely, I mean, that's amazing, honestly. Like, definitely break the chain. That's what we have to do in life. Uh, break yeah. that chain that you're talking about. Yeah, definitely. Do something different. Don't be afraid. You know, basically is what I hear from what you're saying. Uh, so I love that. Um, can you describe your your music and a creative process to us? Oh, so I, I have uh, this term I use, right? Because when I go to the studio, uh, uh, there's a difference between making the music and making a song. Mm -hmm. What's the music? Difference? Music is more spiritual. It's it's more me. When I make music, it is me. Like I am telling you about me. Like this is young Emmy. This is Emmanuel. This is me. Mm -hmm. My music, like when I make music, it's me. And when I make songs, I'm just trying to vibe and flow. You see, just create that vibe, that club banger and stuff like that. But when I make music, it's me. And my creative process for my music is uh, sometimes I can make, like that Love Hots, the one I'm about to drop on the 29th of this month. Do you know how many weeks it took me writing that? It took how me about many? three weeks. Three weeks. How long? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. It took me about three months making. Okay. Because the, the the main structure is just about writing, you know, because I, I, if I show you, like, if I show you my songs book, Love Hot has a lot of versions, you know? I love that one, yeah. I, it has a lot of versions. Like, I don't just write one. I just write with different versions, with different storyline. Like, just trying to make sure, like, everything in my head is out mm. on those papers, you know? And I just pick out sure. the best, you know, and just send the best out. So that's how basically uh, making my music structure, that's how it works. Just randomly, what would be, I guess, like, what would be the longest it took to write a song for you? Uh, basically, the longest actually would be Lord Have Mercy. Lord mm -hmm. Have Mercy is the longest, and that's about three months, you know. That's that's three months longest. And Basically, I can go into the studio right now and make a song. Like I can go into the studio right now and make yeah. a song. Like I can freestyle everything I want to rap right now. But when I'm making music, it doesn't go like that. Like music is my soul. It's me. I'm telling you. Like this is me. Sure. So I don't just write anything because I know what I write on that paper. You understand? Yeah, with yeah. You you're better. Life. You're you're better with just it comes out faster for you. So I'm very conscious because music can build and break someone. Sure. Exactly. Interesting. So I, That's an interesting one. Okay. Yeah. So who would you collaborate with? Oh, right now I have a lot of artists I want to collaborate with. You know. Uh, I want to collaborate, like, please, Bonner Boy, if you ever see this, please give me a track. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Okay. True. Please. Please bon give me a track. What was his name? Bonnie, Bonnie Boy? Okay. Bonner Boy. He's the biggest right Not now. Mine. He dropped this album on Friday. And also, I want to collaborate okay. with Jerry, too. Jerry is also on my list. Like, I, I did as want to collaborate with him. Okay, sure, sure. We're going to definitely tag these people. Okay, cool. If you could open a show for anybody, I guess it would be one of them, but which artist would, would it be? So, funny enough, right? Funny enough, funny enough, funny enough, funny enough like, funny enough. Uh, <laughs> like, people are expecting me now to mention big names, you know? But... Mm -hmm. To be honest, I, I just like starting small. And if I could open a show for anybody, anybody actually, I would love to open for Jerry. Because he runs where I'm sure. from. He runs the city right now. He has the city on lock, you know. I also want to open. Oh, they, they, they're mentioning names. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> I would love to open. I would love to open a uh, show for Jerry, uh, David Doe, you know, Hugo P2, yeah, and other sure. artists like that. Sure, true. Sure. So what uh, my I would just out of the blue, what what do you do for work today to 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 make money and to to make music at the same time? 
Uh, basically, uh, I do music. You know, music pays me a lot, actually. Music pays me a lot. You know, music oh, yeah? pays me a lot. And I also have a company, too. I have uh, different companies, but I'm still on the rise, you know. But they're making oh. the minimum income they can make, you know. I have a, a management company, too, where I help artists, you know, create bars and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. That's nice. You're very talented for being so young. Um, so with all of that, do you have merch by any chance? Do you create merch like shirts, hats, um, things like that? Uh, basically, um, I, I have some younger me merch coming out soon. You know, I have True. some uh, younger me merch coming out soon. So, uh, okay. but basically, uh, for the brand, you know, the OTB brand, I uh, we're, we're working on something very crazy. But the Young Gaming merch is dropping very soon, like very, very soon. Hopefully, when this uh, song drops, it's dropping with a uh, merch collection. True, true. Okay. And um, you said you make you make money off of music. So how does that work? Is it like through TikTok? Is it like through one of the apps like that, or? Is it how people play your music? How how's, how how does someone out there who wants to be an artist and who is talented as you? Because you have to be talented, obviously. How does that happen? Like, how does that actually uh, happen? So, uh, but basically, mm, right now, as an artist, there are multiple streams of income. You feel me? There are a lot of streams, like streams of income you can have, like. And like for me, basically I earn from my streamings, you know, a month I make, I, no, I don't want to say the number, but I make a decent amount of money from just streaming alone. And just stream, that, that means like people playing your music. Oh, yes. Oh my God. Yes, wow. I do. But that's not the only part, you know, because people ask for features too. And I charge for features. Uh, people tell me to uh, do videos for their brand, you know like uh, their clothing brand, uh, their business. Like, I just get to show my face there. And they pay me, too, yeah. for that. And uh, I go to occasions, you know, like performance. I, I go on shows. Uh, basically, I, I, I have a show last week, too, you know, on the stage. So I've been on the road a lot. And uh, shows, actually, and merch. Uh, I have merch I put out. And people listening, too, for people. Where I just, where I just go and uh, perform. True, you that's know? Nice. You're so young. So if you if you were able to balance at the same time and you were be able to go to school to even craft your music even more in a business sense, what would you like to go to school for? I I. I uh, I want to go to school, you know. I'm planning on yeah. going to school this year or next year, you know. I'm planning on going to school. I want to do computer programming or computer science, you know, because that's actually my college. Okay. I have a thing for computer. Selena. So, yeah, but basically I, I need to go back to school. I It's, it's a must. It's sure. a must. I just want, I just want to... um create a little bit buzz back you know because i lost my old instagram before so right now i'm just trying to uh mm. create buzz back and just you know if my if my stuff start like making waves then i'm i'm going back to school you're I'm definitely going, going i mean i definitely believe in you so definitely yeah you're definitely going to go and do your dreams i i bet i bet that like you have a, an amazing talent i would say um, I, have you ever taught anybody how to play an instrument? Oh, yes, actually. Uh, this is this is actually funny because I just actually remembered now. Like, I just actually remembered now. Like, then I actually used to, like, in my church, you know, I teach people how to play. Mm -hmm. uh, the stuff they call the record. I teach people how to play flute then, you know? The flute, sure. The, yeah. I oh, I lost my hair. Like what are you saying? Oh, my daughter. She was looking for my, my, my mom and dad. 
but funny enough, <laughs> though, I taught, I taught people how to play uh, flute then, you know. I taught people how to play flute. And uh, I'm not good at keyboard, but I've actually tried sure. helping one or two people, you know, <laughs> with keyboard and stuff. Like <laughs> you said I tried. True, true. Yeah. Um, okay. What, what would you say your biggest fear is? Oh... Oh, my my biggest fear is God. Sure. I fear wow. God. I fear sure. him like. If you listen to my music, if you listen to my music, right? Yeah. If you listen to my music, you would know I fear God. If you listen to my music very well, like, I don't think I've made I've made five songs back to back, and I don't talk about God in my music. Like, if you check my page, you always see I post about God. So, yeah. definitely Go check his page out. Definitely follow. Um, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I, 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 I definitely say listen to his music because he definitely talks in, in, in with his soul in his music. I'm gonna put your song on again. Which okay. one? Let me see which one I have here. The one I have here is called. Uh, trust and rejection is the one I have in a loop right now. Because <clears throat> he definitely talks the same. I definitely love your music. If you could pass motivation to people right now, right? What kind of motivation would you be able to pass? Hmm. Just do you, like, do your thing. Like, see, the motivation I want to tell people, like, right now is please. Please, please do you don't stop. Please, please, please don't stop. Believe me, please don't stop. Because, yo, like, what you are going through right now, right? What you are going through, someone is going through worse. Believe me. And if you don't learn to appreciate your situation right now, things will only get worse. It will only get worse, you know? So please, just don't stop. It might be getting dark. It might be getting so cloudy. Please don't stop. Please. Please. I'm begging. Like, this is not even... I'm not trying to do this right now. I'm begging you. Please. Don't stop. Please. I'm telling you. You need to learn that. Like, you have to... You, you've not gotten to the rock bottom. That's, that's, not, that's not the rock bottom. That's not the rock bottom. Believe me. Believe me, it can it can get worse. Uh -huh. this morning, please don't stop. Just be grateful to God. Please, please. Say that. I'm telling you from experience. Just continue. Just continue. That is the best motivation I can give anybody. Continue. Definitely. Never quit. Just continue doing your thing. With what whatever you you're. Just continue. Never quit, and you just continue. I love that. Exactly. Exactly. Don't quit. Don't quit. Definitely don't quit. You're only 18, and you know this music is so beautiful. Like truly is. Thank you. Uh, this is Young MM Fly. Make sure you check him out on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna show you guys his channel. Let's see, I'm gonna flip this, uh, flip this around. Definitely go check them out. Young MM Fly on YouTube. He's on YouTube. He's on Instagram. What else are you on? I'm on uh, TikTok. I'm on Twitter. I'm on. Yeah. I'm on all the platforms. Okay. Okay. Oh, I saw, yeah, you're on TikTok. And your name on everything is Young MM. Young MM. M -M. How do you say MMY? So basically, the young Emmy is uh, that's like my uh, uh, yeah. the young Emmy is my stage uh, and my performance to my for on all social platforms, right? It's just young Emmy yeah. fly, just add the fly behind me. On streaming platforms, sure. it's just young Emmy. It's such a beautiful song, right, you guys? He's got definitely a talent. 
Um, you made this in Africa, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Then I was seventeen. You're seventeen only. Oh my god. Like, look, all the songs I'm playing to you right now, like all yeah. the songs, like all the songs you hear in Love Boat, everything was made when I was seventeen. Wow. Like I have, let's check, let's, I have let's check out his shit. I have a whole catalog of the jobs. If you check uh, the shorts, I have some freestyle I really put there. I can freestyle something like that. I can write on this. I can freestyle something like this. So definitely gotta go check it out for the full version. Uh, so you're going to be uploading it on YouTube, right? Where, where can people hear the full version on the sound, uh, sound Mac that you have, the audio? Uh, yeah, on audio Mac though, but basically this, uh, music that I've been previewing since, uh, sadly, all of them are not out yet, you know, none of them are right, out. Right, right. Because, you know, I mentioned earlier, like, I had to go back in uh, when I lost my old account, you know, because I had, I had problem with, um, I, I just had a little bit problem before with the police and stuff like that, you know. So, uh, I lost my account, you know, I lost my old Instagram. I had over, like, 40,000 followers before. So, sure. when I lost that account, I just had to change my sound. Sure. Well, now, now you got your head the, on right. The other song. I just had to change my sound. So yeah. uh, all the songs I've been previewing are not out yet, you know. Just the ones I want to make uh, just to create buzz. But the Love Bus is dropping officially on the 29th of this month. It's already out for pre-order, you know. It came live today, you know. So uh, you can go pre-order Love sure. Bus so you can be the first set of people to hear it when it drops. Thank you. Definitely, definitely. Well, we are definitely going to hit that follow button on him. So everybody out there, go and follow him. I definitely attached it on Facebook, uh, the YouTube, and uh, I'll put the IG on there too. Um, I'll put it on my description on my YouTube for those of you who watch this as a playback. Uh, I'll be editing.